Among the Hidden, Chapter 9. Luke was so surprised he lost his balance and almost fell backwards off the trunk. By the time he recovered and righted himself, the face was gone. Had he imagined it? Was it just one of the sports family brothers home early from school? Kids got sick, like Dad said, or they decided to play hooky. Luke tried to remember every detail of the face he'd seen or thought he'd seen. It had been younger than either of the sports family brothers. Softer, hadn't it? Maybe it was a thief or a maid come early. No, it had been a child, eh? He didn't even let himself think what another child in that house would be. He stared for hours at the sports family's house, but no face reappeared. Nothing happened until six, when the two sports family boys drove in in their jeep, unloaded their football gear, and carried it into the house. They didn't run out screaming about being robbed, and he'd seen no thief leave. He'd seen no maid leave. At 6.30, Luke reluctantly climbed down from his perch when he heard his mother's knock on the door. He sat down on the bed and muttered a distracted, Come in. She rushed to hug him. Luke, I'm sorry. I know you were just trying to help and everything is amazingly clean. I'd love it if you could do this every day. But your father thinks, I mean, you can't. Luke was so busy thinking about the face in the window that at first he couldn't figure out what she was talking about. Oh, the bread, the house cleaning, the radio. That's okay, Luke mumbled. But it wasn't and it never would be. His anger came back. Why did his parents have to be so careful? Why didn't they just lock him in one of the trunks in the attic and be done with it? Can't you talk to him, Luke asked. Can't you convince him? Mother pushed Luke's hair back from his face. I'll try, she said. But you know he's just trying to protect you. We can't take any chances. Even if the face in the window of the sports family's house was a third, another third child, so what? Luke and the other kid could live right next door all their lives and never meet. Luke might never see the other kid again, and he'd certainly never see Luke. Luke lowered his head. What am I supposed to do, he asked. There's nothing for me to do. Am I supposed to just sit in this room the rest of my life? Mother was stroking his hair now, and it made him feel itchy and irritable. Oh, Lukey, she said, you can do so much. Read and play and sleep whenever you want. Believe me, I'd like to live a day of your life right about now. No, you wouldn't, Luke muttered. But he said it so softly he was sure Mother couldn't hear. He knew she wouldn't understand. If there was a third child in the sports family, would he understand? Did he feel the way Luke did? So that's a quick chapter today. I do want to let you know that the main event or the most important event from yesterday's chapter was seeing the face in the window, a possible other third child. That chapter uh, eight was full of events, so it was hard to determine that, but really the most important one was the fact that he saw another face in the window. Have a good day.